So, it may not be the most popular sentiment living here in Phoenix, but I love big haboobs. Um, of course, I'm talking about dust storms, but for some reason these days, the last year or two, we call them haboobs. Why is that? And some people don't like it. Um, this is a screenshot from a time lapse that I shot on July 5th, 2011. And I posted it online, I called it Massive Haboob Hits Phoenix, Arizona, because it looked like the dust storms in the Middle East. And within hours, it went viral. Um, I had a friend call me from Seattle two hours later and saw it on the evening news. I was woken up the next morning by CNN at five in the morning, MSNBC, the Today Show, Weather Channel, they all called. And needless to say, top five best day ever. <laughs> um, it even made it into this Japanese magazine on the other side of the world. I have no idea what any of those words say up there. <laughs> But I guarantee you one of them is haboob. <laughs> um, people always ask me how um, I got into storm chasing and how I got into photography. And it all started with my daughter being born. Her name's Lila. And like any parent, I uh, just want to take pictures of her nonstop. And so we had a little point and shoot. And she's adorable. Um, <laughs> And I found out, you know, just from using it over and over, that this camera did three shots a second. And so, I don't know, I was looking at weather photography or something, like, I'm gonna go outside and try to get some lightning shots. And on the third night out, this is what I got. And I was like, oh my God, I am so hooked on this. I sent this to Channel 12 and Sarah Walters, put on TV with my name and all this stuff. And I'm like, this is awesome, this is what I'm gonna do. And so my wife and I sold almost our entire DVD collection to buy my first Canon Rebel. And at the same time, I was watching Storm Chasers on Discovery Channel, you guys may know that show. <laughs> Favorite show ever for a while there. And I realized, hey, I don't have to just go to the field down at the corner or outside my house. I can drive to get these storms. I can go to Casa Grande or Tucson or wherever. And, uh, and so I started doing that. And so every summer, it's gotten progressively more and more. And this past summer, I drove well over 7,000 miles across Arizona. I even went to the Midwest for a few days to try to get a tornado, did not do that. And, um, and so, um, let's pause for one second though about all that stuff. This is um, a passion for me and there's nothing more amazing than having someone else, my wife, who believes not only in your passion but to give you the freedom to drive 7,000 miles a summer. And she's over there somewhere. Um, without her, I would not be standing here today. I would not be doing all this stuff. Um, and this is a passion for me. I love storm chasing so much. I just, obviously, 7,000 miles. Um, I've loved the weather ever since I was a kid. Um, used to watch storms out the window with my brother. And I have pictures from high school and junior high of thunderstorms. I don't know why I never did anything with it, but it took 20 years. Um, and once I got into photography, I just wanted to take better and better pictures. I didn't want crappy weather photos, I want awesome weather photos. And so I've tried to get better and better, I'm still trying to get better and better all the time. But I think the coolest part about all this, I think, is where this passion has taken me. Um, now my photos and videos are used by National Weather Service here in Phoenix to train people how to spot severe weather, um, which I'm like a weather geek, so that's awesome. <laughs> um, and I've formed um, great relationships with other photographers in town, um, meteorologists around Phoenix and across the country. This shared passion for weather has really been this amazing friendship builder. And the coolest thing probably is that dust storm video was licensed by Al Gore for his climate change presentations all around the world, which, awesome. <laughs> that, that really says it, that's all I have to say about it. It's pretty cool. Um, but I think for me, the greatest part of all of this stuff is full circle back to my daughter. Um, she was with me for well over half of those 7,000 miles this summer. And she's only four, or she's almost four. And there's nothing like hearing her in the back seat um, say, hey daddy, did you see that lightning strike um, out that window? That was the coolest thing. And I don't know, it just gets me every time. And we have a little boy his named Eli, and he's nine months old, and I keep telling him, dude, you are making your debut next summer. I don't care what you say, even though we can't talk. Thank you guys so much.